What's that? Okay, Elvis at a Krispy Kreme. Okay, well, that's not really my department, but I'll uh, definitely pass it on to one of my assistants. Actually, I got a girl over here that'll be all over that. Special Agent Lowski. Oh, you'd like to file a complaint? No, oh, okay. Oh, against, uh... Hey, Pete, what's up? Oh, he told me, uh, not too much. I'm backed up, really backed up. I mean, I got a ton of work to do, and Colin's on my ass, and my back hurts. And I got this pain on my left side, like right under my rib cage. I think it may be cancer, but WebMD says it's probably just viral or yeah, possible okay. heart attack. That's great, but check this out. Funny. Isn't it great? Paula Barnard's gonna be pissed at you using office supplies for that. That could constitute waste, fraud, and abuse. I mean, definitely waste. Maybe a little bit of Don't be such a pussy. I'm going to hang them up all over the office this afternoon. Hey, Tim. Check this out. You guys got way too much time on your hands. No. Toby has too much time on his hands. I have no time, actually. I mean, I'm so far behind, it's not even funny. My anxiety level is up here. And if I don't get this vehicle report in by the end of the day... Wallace is gonna go ape shit. I'm just, I'm just, I can't, I just. You're fine, it's only the sixth. Yes, which means it was due yesterday. Wait, you guys still do vehicle reports? Don't be so dramatic, Pete, all right? One day's not gonna make a big deal. Besides, Wallace is out of here, man. Wait, what? No way. Hey, you guys didn't hear? No. Yeah, HQ sent him a three hour letter, man. What, what's the three-hour letter? Relocate, resign, and retire. No way. They can do that? We all sign mobility agreements, Toby. They can move us whenever they want. Holy shit. I thought a mobility agreement was them agreeing to give me a car. How did you get this job again? I'm not really sure. So, how's he taking it? No. Uh, will you gentlemen assist me in moving a heavy box from my office to my car, please? Hey, Ron. Yeah, buddy, man. Whatever you need. Yeah, man. No problem. Ron, I would, but my back. Thanks. Swell. If, uh, if any of you ever need anything, you know, you contact me at HQ. Please feel free to reach out anytime. Hey, Ron, let me help. I got it. Seems to be handling it well. Off my life! Maybe not so well. Look forward, please. Sorry. Not much to look at anyway. Privacy, please. Come on, man. What are you looking at? Concentrate on your pitch. Hey, man, if they ask me, let them know I'm in here. I'll be out in a minute. Go fuck yourself, Toby. Thanks.
Jesus Christ. Come on and go. Oh. You know, I just don't understand how Make America Great Again is racist. Neither do I. I really think these liberals are just trying to hand this country over to terrorists. I know, right? Like, hello? Oh, uh, Mr. Terrorist, just come on in and blow up our country again. Seriously? I mean, I get it. There was slavery, there was lynchings, Jim Crow, the whole cross-burning thing. But if you could just take a second and look past those things. I mean, America really was great. I know, right? I mean, move on already. Yeah, right, like how long do we have to complain about this? Well, maybe because it wasn't just slavery, lynchings, and Jim Crow. It is about the systemic marginalization and oppression of all people of color. Women, LGBTQ people. Look out, lesbian alert. You have to be careful. Uber liberal. Excuse me? You know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter anyway. You don't matter. Oh, not Dina. I'm offended by that statement. All lives matter. You know you're wasting your breath, don't you? I know. Still, someone has to say something. Jerky? I'm vegan. Guess that makes me a vegan. What's the matter, Dina? Afraid of a little meat? You know, a little meat might do you some good. Oh, I'm sure it's very little. I want to bet. That is so inappropriate. Relax. I'm joking. And he's, you know, like they say in the military. All right. So, as most of you are aware, Rack Wallace is out the door. Bam! What's my life? The boot. Not even a goodbye. Just see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. What do you got, Tim? Who's his replacement? Well, you're looking at it. Out of the pan and into the fire. Now, never fear, I am fully prepared to take on the roles and responsibilities of our fearless leader. See here, I know who I can harass today. Is this really the White House interchange? As he moves onward and upward to his headquarters and sign. So are you the permanent REC or what? Not at this time. I am acting. Everybody's acting. But I did put in for the permanent position. Now it's up to headquarters to decide if they want to make me the permanent rat. You still got those contacts at HQ? Mm hmm. Good, we need that. So, um, who's going to be the new GF? I decided to get with Wallace and make that determination. And we decided to base it on seniority. Wait, so Donald? Yes. If Donald Serpentini is your new acting GS. It'll be almost two years and uh, a lot of affection for Don. Poor shit. Hey, thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. Can your contacts pull up a transfer? Let's hope to God. Because he's a very good person. I've always found him to be just a very, very good person. He's a good man. Very good man. Don, are you the excellent guy? So, Wallace is out, Colin is in, and they just gave the keys to the kingdom to a narcissistic dictator. Sounds about right. My life just went from bad to B-level zombie movie. That's how this place works around here. Office mail always seems to be the first thing on the budget cut list. Seniority? Give me a break. 
They only use seniority when it suits them. That guy must have something on all of them. Wouldn't be hard to get. True. Look on the bright side. He is just an acting manager. He'll probably get replaced by a headquarters First guy. First of all, this is Donald we're talking about. Second of all, who wants to come to Detroit from headquarters? Especially to this rack office? Good point. Oh, hey, um, as the new GS... Uh, Acting GS. Ah, uh, that's cute. As the new GS, I have some new rules that Betty was kind enough to have typed up for me. Uh, think of them as sort of commandments, if you will. Now, you wouldn't want to bring down the wrath of God, would you? Are you comparing yourself to God now, Donald? More like declaring. Oh, a new rule. No more feet up on the desk. I mean, it's a destruction of government property. Thank you. And, uh, you know, no more sitting on the desk. I mean, to be honest, seeing you sitting there flirting with Lao, of all people, uh, no offense, with your rear end propped up on his desk in that suggestive manner offends me. You son of a... Noted, Donald. Noted. Good. Carry on. Telling you, B, if it doesn't fall off, it wasn't infected. Ha <laughs> ha! So, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore because I'm just too damn busy. Tim, Timbo, Timmy, come in here. You startled me, Tim. Did I? You wanted to see me, man? I need your help. I need to add a printer so that I can print this document out because I need to scan it and send it over to headquarters before the end of today. I'm sorry, but I think I might have missed something. Can you explain it to me again? Yeah, sure. So this document on my screen? Yeah. I need to print it out so that I can scan it and send it over to headquarters before the end of today. You gotta sign it with wet ink or something? Wet ink? You boob. What is this, 1989? No, it's electronically signed. I just need to add a printer so that I can print it out because I need to scan it and send it over to Susan at HQ before the end, end of, of the, the day. day. Yeah, I got it. I just don't understand why you need to print it out to do that. Well, what don't you understand? Colin, it's already digital. Mm hmm? We can just send it the way that it is as long as it's in a PDF file. Mm hmm? Do you understand? No, I get you. I understand what you're saying. But I need to add a network printer so that I can print this out because she said she specifically wants me to scan it and send it to her before the end, end of, of the, the day. day. Yes, I got that. Colin, buddy, look, no. All right, it's already a PDF file. Mm-hmm. A scanner is going to simply turn it into the PDF file you already have on your screen. Do you understand me? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Oh, I see. Got right. So you see what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. Right. Yes. Good. See, I mean, you're just creating more work for yourself, man. Bam! Woo! It's all good. I got you, brother. Okay. Good. Yes, sir. Can I leave now? Or do you need me for anything else? Oh, I don't think so. Right. If you need me for anything else, I'll be sitting right there. That's good to know, and if I need you... I'll I am you. Or you can just give me a shout like, hey, Tim, or something like that. I'm literally sitting right there, man. Yes, sir, and I'll note that in the old cabeza. Let me shut this door. You want me to leave it open? You can leave it open. Hey, Toby. Yeah, I need your help. I've got to add a printer 
so that I can print this document so I can scan it and get it over to HQ before the end of the day. Uh-huh. I guess we'll have to figure it out together then, brother. Bam! Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> Hmm, Betty, 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 do you own a French-made costume? Sam, how are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you, James? Well, I'm blessed, man. I can't complain. How's the fam? Wife and kids? Yes, sir. Wow, they're doing good, too. Thank you for asking. Of course, of course. I'm glad to hear everyone's doing well. Hey, Tim, you be blessed, man, and you enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, you do the same. Toby, my man. Jimmy Jim, what's good, man? Oh, you know, man, working hard. Same here, gotta keep grinding. Who else is gonna do it? Hey, listen, you got any trash in the empty? Nah, I'm all good, brother. All right, then. You be blessed, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be here. All right. Sir. Excuse me. Huh? You did not replace my trash bag. I'm sorry, sir. What, are you hard of hearing? My trash bag. You did not replace my trash bag. Well, sir, you only have one napkin in there. No need to waste the plastic unnecessarily. You got them protected environment. You know, go green, right? I'd like a new trash bag, please. Well, all right, sir. I have plenty of them. Here you are, sir. Fresh new bag as requested. Now that was not hard at all, was it? No, it wasn't. It was not. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand. You said it wasn't. The correct way to say it is, it was not. Now, if you continue to speak in contractions, you may be emptying trash cans for the rest of your life. Noted. Have a good day. Dirty motherfucker. Betty. Betty, 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 Betty. Can you help me? I have to print a document so I can scan it. Get over to headquarters before the close of business today. Huh? Tim and Toby were no help either, and they're both smarter than you, so forget it. But, uh, hey, have Pete get that vehicle report done by the end of business today. He's late. Time to poop or get off the pot. Got it. Poop or get off the pot. Poop or of the pot. Oh, and I forgot to mention in the all-hands meeting today that we have a new agent coming in this a week. A new agent, you said? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Uh, Mr. Lawson. 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 Sounds like a fine fellow. New hire or transferred from another agency? Says here that he's a new hire, straight out of college. We need some new blood around here. Mm-hmm. Somebody I can teach. I'll show him the ropes. So, uh, when'd you start? Well, he just graduated from the flea, so he can start anytime. Hey, well, put Tim on it. We'll make him the FDO. Tim it is. Tim's my guy. Tim's a man. I say Tim. Have Tim reach out to him and get him in here. And uh, is there anything else I should know about him? Like, what's the gossip? What's the 411? What's the down low? No gossip. Only that he graduated at the top of his class at the flea. And that's it? Oh, well, that's no fun. Okay. Boring. 
Oh, and he has a degree in both computer science and mathematics. Computer science? Mm-hmm. Well, then maybe my man can show me how to get this document printed. Because none of you yahoos seem to know anything about computers. Woo! Bam! <laughs> Put you right there, and here, is that toothpaste in the kitchen mirror, it's trifling. Hey Don. What's the oh, Nothing, I gotta get some things together for the new agent. New agent? We're getting a new agent? We are. Somebody said something about getting a new agent. Oh yeah, some surprise. You've been selected to be his field training officer. Who says? The new acting rack says. Balls. Whose balls? We're getting a new agent. Seriously? <laughs> yep. Yeah, new hire or transfer? New hire. Crap, that means he won't know anything. Well, from his file, he's a bright one, so I wouldn't be too sure. What do you mean? Graduated at the top of his class at the FLEA. Degrees in both computer science and mathematics. Both? Holy crap. Interesting. So when does he start? Tim will have to arrange that with him. Well, I'm glad it's Tim, because I'm just too busy being FTO right now. Excuse me, Donald. Besides, with these terrible headaches I've been getting, there's no way I could manage it. I mean, I gotta talk to my doctor. This is... It's, it's serious. It's something Jesus serious. Me. Sorry, sorry. My vertigo is acting up. Look, guys, I'd love to stay and talk, but I seriously have a load of work to do. Seriously. No one cares, Pete. Yeah, just don't get behind, guys. Don't get behind. So, what's his name? Andrew. Andrew. What's his last name? Lawson. Lawson? What is that, like Irish? Well, it's definitely not Italian. Why does that even matter? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it does not. Anybody know who hired that guy? Oh, I'll get it. I thought all the deliveries were done for the day. Coming! Coming! Hi, how can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for 6431 South Drive. It is. Where are you trying to get to? The BHEA office. This is BHEA. Great. I'm Andrew Lawson, your new agent. Uh, Andrew! Yeah, come in! <laughs> Noah Ballet is a former lottery pick who's looking to savage his career. He will back up Thomas and Kentner. He had a solid preseason, and he will probably bring them the athleticism that's needed. Well, hey, great. Good point. But please, don't get me started on basketball. I can talk it all day. I'm just real excited to be here, and my apologies for just dropping in. I did not know who to call. Oh, no apologies are necessary, Andrew. If we had known, we just would have sent Tim here to get you, that's all. Oh, I know. I would have called if I had known the number, but no worries. I took the bus to get here. He does not speak in contractions. What? No, nothing. Anyway, get with Tim. He's going to be your FTO. Stay close to him. He's a good man and a good agent. Well, I'm looking for Wait, come back. What's happening? We got a new agent. It's a vehicle and cell phone assigned to him. Will do. And we'll work on your computer access as well. Yeah, perfect, sir. Thank you. You know, I may have you slide back by and help me out. I need to print a document. So you can show me how to print a document so they can scan it. Send it to somebody for a close of business today. With well, your computer science degree and all. Thanks. Oh. Okay. I'll explain. Well, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Lawson. Lawson! Hell of a name, son. Bam! Woo! -hoo. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Excuse me? The name. What is it? Irish? German? American. American. <laughs> but if it is the meaning to which you are referring, Lawson is a transfer use of an English patronymic surname meaning son of Lawrence from law, 
which was the medieval pet form of Lawrence. The English borrow Lawrence from the French originally derived from the Latin Laurentis, essentially meaning song from Lawrence. Damn. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> from the French, da 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 da. You just got schooled, Donnie. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't believe we hired a n- Awesome!